All right, we're given this question that after a 10% reduction, uh, you purchase a new stereo for $288. Uh, and the question is, what was the price before the reduction? And we need to create an equation to solve this. So let's talk about this 10% reduction right here and how you would do this. There's two basic ways to apply a 10% reduction. Let's consider, uh, instead of this situation, let's just consider an $80 item. And let's say we want to take 10% off of that. The, the first way usually we learn to take 10% off is to find 10% of 80 and to subtract that from 80. So this would be the expression for that. So you would take 80 minus 10% of 80, and that would give you uh, your $80 minus your discount, which in this case 10% of 80 is $8, giving us a discount of $72 or not give us a discounted price after the discount of $72. Okay, that's like the fundamental way to, uh, the, this, the easiest way to explain to take a 10% off of something. The cool way and the faster way of doing that is to realize that if you take 10% off of something, you're left with 90% of the original price. So what we could have done up here is instead of taking 10% off 80, we could say, well, if we take 10% off, we're going to be left with 90%. So in one move, what we could do is find 90% of $80. And if you do this calculation right here, 90% of $80 would give you 72. So this is important. This technique right here is the technique or the move that we're going to need to create this equation. So 90% of the $80 gives me the 72. Well now, check out this whole equation right here. What we want to do is we're going to just replicate this equation, but with the information that we have up there. So in the situation that we have, uh, we have after a 10% reduction, uh, you purchase a stereo for $288. Okay, so we now have this 288 is 90% of the original price. And so again, looking at this right here, we have the 90%, we have the original price of $80, and we have the sale price right here. We're gonna rewrite that, except for we don't know the $80. We're gonna use a variable, let's say X, for that $80. And that equation would look like this. 90% of the original, times the original price must equal the $288 right there. And that right here is the equation you need um, to solve this situation or this problem. And then this is just a one-step equation, so actually solving it uh, doesn't take too much work. What we're going to do is we're going to just divide both sides by this 0 0.90 or this 90%. And if we do that, uh, we'll get x by itself. Again, the logic here as well, to get to this 288, we took 90% times the original amount, so we're going to divide to undo that 90% right there. And if uh, I do that calculations here on my calculator, 288 divided by 0 0.90 gives me 320. So in this case, I get that x equals 320, meaning that the original price was $320. And you could always verify that if you wanted to. Um, what you could do is multiply 320 by the 90% and uh, just to make sure you did it right. But you should feel confident. Again, this is the number that would be input into this equation for x to make this true, meaning um, that 90% of 320 is 288.